I think most people think of roast turkey as the Christmas dish, and it's great for Christmas, but roast turkey is just as good any time of the year or any day of the week, because now you can get a ready to roast turkey leg full of delicious cranberry flavor in the meat section of your local supermarket. And all you've got to do is put it in the oven. This is a really simple dish to prepare. All you do is put your turkey leg roast onto a rack over a baking dish. Then put some water in the bottom. At 180 degrees, you'll need to bake this for an hour and 40 minutes, turning it once. And I'll tell you what, the herb and spice crust on the outside is divine. So what do you serve with a cranberry stuffed turkey leg roast? Well, for starters, I reckon you want to keep it pretty simple. After all, it's all about convenience. Plus, with the oven on, it's probably got to be something baked. How about some veggies? Pumpkin, parsnips, garlic, even some slices of orange. And all you need to do is toss that with a bit of oil, salt and pepper and pop it in. There's a couple of tips to help you bake better veggies. For starters, make sure your veggies are in serving size pieces. Then, make sure they're all about the same thickness. That means they'll bake at the same rate. Now for these, you'll need to pop them in the oven for about an hour. So when the turkey gets to the 40 minute mark, probably about when you turn it over, well, that's when you can pop the veggies in. If you haven't tried baking slices of orange before, it's a bit of a revelation. Not only does it infuse a whole bunch of flavour into your veggies, but when they caramelise in the oven, they are amazing to eat. It's smelling good. Wow, those veggies are beautiful. Roast's nearly done. One last little trick though, grab a little bit of feta and sprinkle it over your veggies and then pop it back in the oven for a few more minutes. It bakes all lovely, soft and gooey. It's this salty burst, it's just brilliant. Well that roast looks absolutely brilliant. Now you will need to let it rest for about 10 minutes before you carve it. Speaking of which, it's boneless easy carve. So even that's gonna be simple too. On your platter, garnish up with some sage leaves and a couple of almonds for a wonderfully colorful look. It's all the flavor inspiration you need for a celebration dinner any night of the week. Sound like your kind of fun? Well, head to ingams.com.au to find the recipe.